thank you for clarifying a bunch of stuff and when you look at the videos and everything that we go through when it comes down to it at the end of the day no matter what color you are what color I am like I said I've made some statements that are fucked up and you straighten me out because you're my friend and I looked at a situation and I applied it to everything else but the situation that it was applied to and when you came down to your conclusion it was the same as mine and no matter how we get to our conclusions no matter how we get to the end of the story most of the time you know in the biggest part we agree YouTube jail was started so I could at least point out to people who never watched the end of the videos at least so I could point out the people who spout hate without watching the video you type something on the bottom of the screen and I swear dude like I tell people YouTube is a setup because you commented on one video and I saw your comments on another video they were actually placed out of context in order to maybe make me mad at you shit I can't be mad at you why for what you know even though our differences are only skin deep matter of fact I ain't skin deep it's like right on the top the only time you can tell that me and this guy is not the same guy is when you look at us oh yeah you might listen to me and my voice is a little sexier than his but yeah his alright but now the Midnight Rider was close to me I hate it when they kill the Midnight Rider and like I said I was gonna build a storyline I mean and do a, a series of skits to look for who killed the Midnight Rider but you fucked it up for me now everybody knows you was the Midnight Rider and I can't finish my storyline but I'd rather you do it that way than me and you play some games with these people and drag it out for them to figure out who the hell the Midnight Rider was so you stopped me from going out in this field on the other side of my house with the video cameras and the laptops running around and shit in the fucking woods for 15-20 minutes and I'm glad you did that Cause shit, I only got one camera, man, and he's only 16 years old, <laughs> you know. So, Midnight Father, I'm going to put your, game, your names together. Thank you for this reply. And there's a lot of black people and white people out there do not understand the significance of this YouTube. One lady told me just recently that she stopped eating the foods that she used to eat because of YouTube. If you watch the human population control videos, neither one of us should be eating the shit that they give us. And another thing, like I said, it's got to be somebody in the office reading all of our, uh, not reading, but writing all of these file comments in order to spark another video. Because you can say whatever you want to about the Midnight Rider. You know, he wasn't as bad as people put him out to be. You hurt one person's feelings and they flag you for hate speech. You know I had to pull a video for death threats. Why was I scared of death threats? Because he's only fucking 16 years old. Cover your ears, boy. <laughs> he's only, you know, he's a little one. I'm glad that he has the life that I did not have. He has the brain that I do not have. Because it is up to us to make sure the kids behind us are smarter than we are. And if we raise a bunch of dumbass kids, what do you think he'll be? He'll be a dumbass kid allowing himself to be called nigger. And your kids will be dumbass kids allowing themselves to be called whatever someone decides to call them that week. That's why there is a YouTube jail. YouTube jail is solely for those who have the balls and the guts to post videos. And they post videos, but then they can still type hate? Then we at YouTube jail are going to take their highest ranked video, their highest rated video, the video that we know that their only people are watching, and comment on it. We're going to comment on the video? Am I that boring, son? I guess I am that boring. So, <laughs> so, YouTube jail is like this. This man 
There's a page. He talks about whatever he talks about on his page. I'm not giving you his name because I don't want these idiots that fuck with me mess with him. Excuse my language. Sorry. So these people make these statements. He typed in, you know, I like this and that because of this and that. And then as soon as they see his face, it's not because of what he likes, because of what he said. You stupid nigger. Hey, Father, judgment, drop the end bomb. The only way you're going to get people to understand that you're telling the truth is to drop it. Don't say N-word, just say it. Because everybody else is saying it. And since you're my friend, I'm pretty sure they're calling you the same name behind your back. Because that's how they work. So, when he types in that he likes, you know, surfing or whatever. I know, this boy can surf his ass. <laughs> hey, we live up here. <laughs> okay, forget it. So he can surf. He likes surfing. He types in he likes surfing. And then somebody will say, you stupid nigger, you shouldn't be able to surf because you can't afford a fucking surfboard. What does that have to do with him liking surfing? When they just automatically drop the end bomb on him and call him stupid. Those are not real people. I'm sorry. But there can't be real people. Because as soon as we go to their page, that's it. You, you created a page and logged on to say three, four hateful words, and that's it? YouTube needs to take these IP addresses down and run that shit back. I have been told that I'm going to be swinging from a lamppost. You want to see me swinging from a lamppost? No. Thank you. And that's the sad part of YouTube, is that... These people can say hateful things and get away with it on a constant. But I say the dress isn't that bad. The dress is fine. The dress is fine when she goes swimming, when she go to the club, when she's sitting in the backyard. Not at the prom, but I was not going to say that dress was fine at the prom, and I never did once say that dress was fine at the prom. And you, of all people, were the only person to dispute that. You, out of, of millions, billions of people in America, were the only person to say, you know what, man? I agree with you on 99.9% .9 things, but this 1.1% is not right. You were the only person that had the courage to say I was wrong, but everybody else... Called me all kind of niggers and pedophiles. They couldn't have told a girl to go to the mall, buy a new dress. Take your ass to Walmart. Walmart open 24 hours a day. Buy a big ass sweater. Cover that shit up. I was wrong. And you told me I was wrong. People test YouTube for one reason and one reason only. To see who's going to disagree with them, who's going to agree with them. You find those people that agree with you, and you run with them. You take care of those people. You give them the stories that they want. The ones that don't agree with you, you stay away from them. But you know me. I don't stay away from them. I go to their house if I can. And that's what we're going to do with YouTube Jail. Take it to the house. Because if somebody's over at your house, Father Judgment, and the guy says, oh, let me surf the internet real quick. And they look at one of my videos and type in, you stupid black ass bastard. I'm going to be like, whoa, what the hell did Father Judgment do this for? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, that's just all right. You scratch it up on this there, so. so, you know, that's the pitiful part about YouTube. Is when you go to YouTube jail, and we jail people. It's messed up. But the next volume of YouTube Jail is going to be this weekend. You know, whenever I can do 20 videos at a time, I'm going to do them. You know I try to run the whole 20 minutes. So when I do YouTube Jail, that's damn near all nighter, baby. <laughs> I love when I say baby. You know what I mean? Oh, you okay, forget <laughs> You know? So when I do the YouTube Jail, it's going to be Child Protective Week. I'm going to do 20 videos from children. I want to go through all the youngsters that listen to my page, and I know they shouldn't be listening to me. And I know they shouldn't even be logging on, but they do because I'm teaching some young people. Some young people actually understand me, and they're like, why do black people treat me this way? And I tell them. And they're like, oh, damn. And then they hit me back. They don't treat me like that no more after I told them blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what? It's true. So YouTube jail is going to protect kids next. Don't be hating on children, and you've been tubed.